Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. In the today video lecture, we are going to discuss the synthesis of diazepam. What is the diazepam? Diazepam is a benzodiazepine derivative. So first thing, diazepam is the benzodiazepine derivative. Next point. Benzodiazepine derivative, then where it acts? Diazepam act through GABA A receptor. Act through GABA A. GABA A receptor. So what are the uses of the diazepam? Diazepam have the several uses. It's used in the sedative and hypnotics then it's also used as the anti-anxiety in epilepsy so as anti-epileptic there is a special point of the diazepam not all the benzodiazepine but only diazepam have the skeletal muscle relaxant property so it's a skeletal muscle relaxant action now come to the synthesis of the diazepam let's start the synthesis So, diazepam starting material for the synthesis is the 2-amino 5-chlorobenzophenone. Two 2-amino 5-chloro. This is so how we can number it in the first one, two, three, four, five, six. So two amino five chloro benzophenone. When two amino five chloro benzophenone reacted with the glycine ethyl ester, glycine ethyl ester, ethyl CS3, CS2. Glycine ethyl ester O C O C H two N H two. This is N H two C H two C double O H glycine glycine ethyl ester. Here is the ester derivative. So it's it is the its name is two amino five chloro. Benzophenone and this is glycine ethyl ester. Now, when 2 amino 5 chlorobenzophenone reacted with the glycine ethyl ester in the presence of pyridine, so always when pyridine is present, then there is a always clear that here cyclization will be carried out. So, pyridine helps in the cyclization. Uh, in the cyclization process here what happened your CS3 CH2 OH means ethanol and water will be removed out this CS3 CH2 O will take this H of the amino group and removed out in the form of CS3 CH2 H next what structure will form let's firstly draw it can draw it here okay
here in the chloro here and H no group now this what happened let's discuss here this removed out now this C C O now next CH2 this next NH and here this but this what happened this two molecules of hydrogen take this oxygen and remove out in the form of water so here this structure will form here with the double bond so this is the known as the nor diazepam this structure is nor diazepam nor diazepam now this nor diazepam when reacted with the methyl sulfonate methyl sulfonate that is cs3 the whole twice so4 this is methyl sulfonate methyl sulfonate by the reaction with the methyl sulfonate your final diazepam product will be formed and it will be like this here with the chloro here here will be phenyl group here and this methyl attached on this hydrogen and it forms here this cs3 c o CH2 N and double bond here. So this is the benzodiazepam. What is the main difference in nor diazepam and diazepam? Only the methyl group. In the diazepam, on the N have the methyl group, while in the nor diazepam, N have the hydrogen group. So this is the diazepam. Let's discuss the second root synthesis of the diazepam. In the second root, it's synthesized it's uh, some extension of the previous but there are some changes intermediate let's discuss in this the synthesis started from the aniline 4 chloro aniline here ns2 this is aniline but on the fourth position it have the chlorine 4 chloro aniline this 4 chloro aniline 4 chloro aniline reacted with the benzyl chloride benzyl chloride cocl this is benzyl chloride now this both benzyl chloride and 4 chloro aniline undergoes the friedel craft acylation process here Friedel Craft Acylation and this Friedel Craft Acylation take place in the presence of zinc chloride ZnCl2 so by the Friedel Craft Acylation these both compound will get attached to each other and it forms the next compound here have the chlorine have NH2 here it attached with each other and it forms like this so this is the here numbering becomes if I want to name it 1 2 3 4 5 so what happens 2 amino its name 2 amino 5 chloro 5 chloro and 2 amino 5 chloro benzophenone now this 2 amino 5 chloro benzophenone again undergoes the next acetylation method 
and here it reacted with the acetyl chloroacetyl chloride cl co ch2 cl it is the chloro acetyl chloride chloroacetyl chloride and by the reaction with the chloroacetyl chloride and intermediate will form here chlorine c it's have the benzene ring here here it also changes this chlorine will take this hydrogen ion of the ns2 and removed out as a form of minus hcl and this coch2cl will get attached on this position like this nh co ch2cl this intermediate form here now this intermediate when passed on this ammonia ns3 gas when passed on this then what happened this chlorine will take this hydrogen ion of the ns3 and ns2 group joint here so new intermediate will form here nh and this when ammonia gas passed then here cyclization can take place cyclization so this chain get cyclized and it forms nh co ch2 and here it's have the same now this chlorine when removed then here it will form n and attached with this and but when this oxygen removed that have the double bond so here this ring will form with the chlorine group on here so this is the nor diazepam nor diazepam when this nor diazepam reacted with the methyl iodide reacted with methyl iodide then what happens this methyl group will attached on this nitrogen position and it forms the diazepam how like this cl n cs3 c n then c ch2 n here this is the diazepam as we have discussed in the previous route so let's have a quick revision what happened here four chloroaniline reacted with the benzyl chloride undergoes the friedel craft acylation and it forms two amino five chlorobenzophenone this two amino 5 chlorobenzophenone reacted with the chloroacetyl chloride and it forms an intermediate then intermediate when get pass nit ammonia gas and it goes under the cyclization process then it forms a nor diazepam this nor diazepam reacted with the methyl iodide and it forms the diazepam very easy i hope so you will like it thank you